On January 5, 2019, a group of six skiers taking part in a Level 2 recreational avalanche course with the Silverton Avalanche School were traveling in Upper Senator Beck Basin. All six were caught in an avalanche, leaving one skier fully buried and killed in this accident. The group left the St. Paul Lodge on the morning of the accident. They had a detailed trip plan including times, waypoints, and decision locations. Their goal was to climb a peak locally known as South Telluride Peak in Upper Senator Beck Basin. After climbing to the top of point 13,106 feet, they moved to the west to a low point of the saddle. The plan was to descend a south aspect with shallow snow to reduce the risk of avalanches. They discussed moving the group from the saddle to a mid-slope bench where there was grass sticking out of the snow. In this photo, the A represents the area where the group regrouped and the B was the intended location where they would travel. Skier 1 started down the slope, informing the others to follow behind him once he was about halfway. Skier 2 followed, traveling a little to the skier's right of Skier 1. The rest of the skiers began sidestepping down the slope so they could see Skier 1 and 2 as they descended. We don't know which skier triggered the avalanche, but all six skiers were caught. In this photo, you can see Skier 1 and 2 took a longer ride, while Skiers 3 through 6 stayed near the top of the crown. This accident involved two avalanches. The first avalanche released on a south-southeast facing slope around 32 degrees in steepness. A crack from the first avalanche ran through the snow remotely triggering a second avalanche on a connected east facing slope. In this photo you can see the two avalanches involved in the accident outlined in red. The avalanche in yellow was triggered by an explosive team on January 8th to help with the recovery and the investigation. The debris from both slides overlapped at the bottom of the slope. This played a key factor into why skier 2 was so deeply buried. Skier 2 was buried under approximately 3 meters of snow for around 50 minutes. Life-saving measures were attempted but unsuccessful. For more information, go to colorado.gov backslash avalanche and click on the accidents tab.